you know, Anna, you, you've worked at so many different industries across oil and gas, sugar, manufacturing, nuclear power plants, and now you're on the consulting side. I must imagine you see so many different uh, experiences, challenges with different organizations. I'm curious, is there like one that stands out to you? One common challenge that you kind of see time and time again, regardless of industry that you uh, go into? <laughs> yes, I would say um, I wish more people outside of the maintenance and reliability groups understood that in order to not have surprises, equipment health has to be maintained and monitored by more than just mechanics and technician when the equipment is down. In order to take the best care of the equipment, many techniques and eyes have to be applied in an optimal way to ensure that the design of the equipment is holding up to expectation. And if not, we must work as a team to eliminate these issues. And priority has to be on reliability for it to become a reality. Because if it's not your priority, it's just gonna you're, you're gonna continue to see the same failures until you, you do something to change that. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is, you know, a lot of people have this idea of maintenance and reliability, but they're not putting a priority to it. So it sounds like you, you often see people let it slip through the, the wayside and you kind of forget about it. Um, I'm curious, like, what are some of the impacts that that has? The biggest one is dollars. Um, yeah. You know, when you're, when you're taking things down too frequently because it's failing, that's money, that's money to fix it, that's money for parts, that's money for downtime. It, um, optimizing that is is key and to also not waste on the other side if you're looking at something too often that can be a big resource and money waster there too so it's just uh, you know if you if you're able to look at things in a more high level and then deconstruct it to the smallest thing and optimize that's that's you know that's the key thing to, to save those money and resources <laughs> <laughs>